What is up guys and welcome back to the Doc Mac Car Channel. Today, what I'm going to do is show you how to pick out the correct battery fitment for your vehicle. Now, most people might think that car batteries are all universal, however they are not. They all have different sizes and different cold cranking amps and different specifications, whether uh, it's a maintenance or a maintenance free battery. So today I'm going to talk about that one and how you can actually go through and pick the correct battery for your vehicle without causing any issues. So without further ado, let me get into it. If you never want to miss any of my car videos, then consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that like button. If you guys would like to know which battery part fits your vehicle, drop me down a comment below and I'll try my best to assist you guys. Now this is a 3.5 liter Toyota Camry V6. So for me, it uses a 55D23 LMF. Now, I've gone with this particular one, which is a Century High Performance, Ultra High Performance, and it's got 500 cold cranking amps, and it's a 12 volt battery because the vehicle is a petrol vehicle as well. All right, and you can see this is a maintenance free battery, as you can see. This one has got a little dial here which shows you what the condition of the battery is and green means that means it's in good condition. Now if you notice the difference between this battery and this battery, this battery is a maintenance battery which means you have to fill battery water into it. However on the other one you do not need to maintain it at all, it's just a plug-in and a use. You don't need to maintain the battery. Alright guys when changing the battery what you need to do is you need to unscrew the negative battery terminal first and then you need to wiggle that one out put that one aside and then what you need to do next is you need to undo the battery bracket like so one nut there and another 10 millimeter nut here And you want to keep that nut safe, so I'm just going to keep it in that box here. And this is your battery fastener, which you'll need to put back after this. And this one hooks underneath the clip, so you need to make sure that it's properly hooked. So I'm going to leave that one right here. And then what you need to do is you need to undo the positive side. Now, when you are undoing the battery, you need to pay attention to which side is the positive and which side is the negative. So for me, the negative was this side and the battery was here and the positive is this side. All right, so now we're going to do this one. This is also a 10 millimeter nut. Then I'm going to unscrew this positive battery terminal. And we're going to put that one aside. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pull the battery out of the vehicle. And while you're here, it would be best to just do some cleanup right around here so that you've got a nice and clean engine bay as well. All right guys, when removing the battery or maybe even tilting it slightly, be very careful not to get any battery water out because it's actually distilled water which is inside, but once it goes inside the battery, it becomes acidic. So you might actually mess up your hands. So just keep the battery straight and uh, wear gloves. All right guys, so this is the battery bracket plate. Uh, so I'm just gonna give it a clean down. As you can see, that's where it was. All right, guys, I have now given the battery bracket bay a good clean. Also clean down the negative terminal as well as the positive terminal. Whenever you're gonna change the battery, might as well do it. It'll give it a better connection to the battery as well. Then I'm going to slowly fit it in. Move all the cables to one side. And you want to make sure that it sits on the battery bracket itself. All 
right, that is looking good. All right, and while you're doing it, um, it's better to keep these caps on until you're going to actually put the terminals back in. So this one will also give you a reassurance that this is the positive and this is the negative. Now, in certain batteries, it's um, polarized the other way around. So you guys need to make sure that you check that before you actually put the connection back in. I would advise against buying any batteries which is polarized the other way around because it can blow the main fuse in your vehicle, which can cost about $120 to fix, but that's not all it can cost for the damage. So make sure the part number matches the original part number of your battery. All right, guys, so now what you need to do next is you have got your battery bracket clamp. And I'm going to explain to you what a cold cranking amp is in just a short while after we get this one done. Now, this clamp has got to hold the underside of the bracket. So I can see right down there, it is holding the battery fine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that nut back in here. And then we're going to try to screw that one back in. We are not going to make that snug just yet. We're going to tighten this one down first. Okay, not totally tightened yet. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure that the battery doesn't move. And then you want to give it the final tighten down. Okay, you don't need to over tighten it. It just needs to be snug enough that you know it's not going to come away. Alright, that's done. Now the core cranking amps, which is this one, which is 500 core cranking amps. This means is how much power the battery can give for the first 30 seconds when it's zero Fahrenheit or below without dropping down from 7.4 volts. So if your core cranking amps actually goes off, then you're not going to be able to start the vehicle in really, really freezing temperatures. All right. So now that we've got these two caps here, you can pull the caps out. What we're going to do now is before we fit it, we're just going to give the battery a final shakedown. As you can see, I'm putting a bit of force, nothing is moving. So that's good. And you always want to fit the positive terminal first. Now, before I do that, now when you change car batteries, you can lose the memory settings on your ECU, radio codes, and things like that. Now that can cause the vehicle to stall after you start the vehicle up. So make sure to check my video on how you can actually save the vehicle's memory before you change the battery. It is really gonna save you a lot of time and effort from stalling down on the road. I also include it in the suggested videos. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the positive terminal back and we're gonna tighten it up. And it always pays to clean the post down properly and make sure that it's straight. All right, you don't need to overly tighten it again. Um, you just need to tighten it enough that it'll stop your hand from just general tightness. Now we can put the positive cover back on here. And then there goes your negative terminal. Now, when you put this one on, the battery may shock a little bit. Don't get overly shocked, it's just a small shock. Yeah, I just felt a little bit of spark, so that's fine. Now, I always like cleaning down the battery bay area before fitting everything back. It just makes everything much more neat and tidy, and there's less chances of any corrosion getting onto the battery later. And for those of you who live in colder climates, you can actually get things like O'Reilly's or AutoZone to actually test your cold cranking amps. So before 
winter you already know that you're ready okay that's nice snug and tight battery is not moving and that's the battery change done and don't forget the part number of the battery has got to match if you guys do not know what model your car battery should be drop a comment down below and i'll help you answer your question please consider subscribing if you have liked this video and also give it a thumbs up also consider sharing it with your friends thanks guys have a great day